The burner and burner 2 rocket stages have been used as upper stages of launch vehicles such as the Thor burner and Delta since 1965. The currently available Burner 2 is powered by a Star 37 solid rocket motor. Thor Altair and Thor Burner were mainly used for U.S. military meteorological programs DMSP, although they also launched technological satellites. In addition to use on Delta family rockets, Burner 2 stages have been used on both Atlas and Titan rockets. Topic. Burner 1 The Burner 1 stage was based on the Allegheny Ballistics Laboratory ABL X248 Altair rocket stage used for the third stage of some Vanguard launch vehicles. For the Burner designation, Boeing equipped the stage with three axis control. The solid rocket engine later designated Thiokol FW-4 The first Thor burner launch occurred on January 19, 1965 for the U.S. Military Meteorological Program DMSPB-4A01 satellite first block 4A. Topic. Burner 2 or Burner 2 In March 1964, the Defense Meteorological Satellite Program DMSP office approved plans to develop a more powerful Thor Burner 2 launch vehicle. The Burner 2 was developed for the Air Force Space Systems Division in 1965. The Boeing Company served as prime contractor with major subcontractors, Thiokol Chemical Corporation Solid Rocket Motor, Honeywell Inc. Pre-programmed Inertial Guidance System, Walter Kitta Co. Reaction Control System. Burner 2 featured a Thiokol Star 37B motor, TAM-364-2 which was derived from the Surveyor Lunar Retro Rocket. The first Thor Burner 2 launch occurred on September 16, 1966 for the U.S. Military Meteorological Program DMSPB-4A07 satellite. It was the first solid fuel upper stage used for general space applications that had full control and guidance capability. Its general assignment was to place small and medium-size payloads into orbit. The Burner 2 motor, guidance system and reaction control system were integrated to provide attitude stability and precise control of flight rate and burnout velocity for orbital injection and Earth escape missions. Burner 2 was designed for use with the Thor booster, but was readily adapted for use on the complete range of standard launch vehicles. The Burner 2 was used as an upper stage by NASA for deep space probes. The first Burner 2 flight was on 15 September 1966. Boeing delivered eight flight vehicles under its original contract. Under terms of a follow on contract, it built six additional flight models. Four Thor Burner 2 combinations were launched successfully from Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. The third launch placed two unclassified satellites in Earth orbit. A Secker satellite, built for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers by the Cubic Corporation, and an Aurora satellite, developed by Rice University for the Office of Naval Research, were placed in circular orbits 3,300 km above the Earth. As integration contractor for the Air Force Space Experiment Support Program SESP office, Boeing designed, built and tested the injection stage, or payload dispenser which carried the two satellites on top of a standard Burner 2 stage and placed them in precise orbits. The satellites were mounted on opposite sides of the injection stage, which housed a 640 kg force thrust, solid propellant rocket motor, Star 37. Topic. Characteristics Thrust, 9,250 pounds. ISP, 290 seconds. Propellant weight, 1,440 pounds. 
Launch weight, 1,769 pounds. Jettison weight, 307 pounds.